So here we have the audio commentary for Wonder Woman vs. Barney Woman Part 1. Have a little listen to this first. There's a really terrific show about to begin. A very good friend of mine is in it. Her name is Linda Carter. We did a series together for a few years and now she's going out on her own. So I hope you'll all stay tuned and watch. So that was from the uh, special, the Linda Carter special from the 1970s. I think it was 1980 actually. So this here is actually a modern day Wonder Woman plane that was released around about 2020. And I thought myself I'd include this in the actual uh, storyline because I thought it'd be quite good. And it's gonna be a lot more of you see a lot more of the planning part two as well. See, it was winter time here when I filmed this. So quite heavily laden with leaves here. These were quite difficult to do. Add these effects, and obviously this Wonder Woman here is a combination of the Mego Wonder Woman and the Barbie Wonder Woman. The close and the Barbie Wonder Woman I actually put on this doll because I thought myself, you know, it looked good. Better than the uh, Barbie doll, I thought. Barbie version. And I love the Mego Wonder Woman. It looks fantastic. It's quite, uh, there's quite a lot of birds on that day as well. Flustering as well and tweetering. There we go. She's jumping off the, uh, the log there. That was quite difficult to do, that little shot there. And um, I thought myself, you know, very traditional looking shot regarding her spinning round. I liked all that bit regarding the, the sun and everything, so I thought I'm going to leave it in. I didn't want to cut that. This is the actual um, a Barbie car, which was the uh, Ferrari. It's quite hard to get hold of now, actually. So I thought that would be quite good as the, the uh, biosonic car for the Wonder Woman. And uh, I wanted to make it quite a classic look regarding the Wonder Woman look here, regarding the music and looking very... 70s combined with a bit of 80s regarding the computer graphics for the actual, you know, uh, the, the, the words that are coming up, like the Wonder Woman words, and obviously each person that's actually in the story, as it were. If you understand what I mean, like, you know, it says Diana Prince and it says uh, Steve Austin and it says Oscar, Oscar Goldman. I tried to make it look quite 70s combined with a bit of 80s. And obviously, the summer of 1978. There we go. What were you doing in the summer of 1978? This bit here, would you believe, that car has been pulled by a bit of string, a bit of cotton, pulling that along. And I wanted to write, make it like an introduction, so with the little things going off. I actually thought there was a bit like a, um, what do they call it? Uh, force field. You know, and this here was actually the Cindy house. It was like a country cottage, which I actually bought because I thought myself I quite like this. And here I'm actually pushing the car along with my hand <laughs> to try and get it going in the right direction, if you know what I mean. Didn't really, it worked okay. And I wanted to get a bit of an angle here so it looked quite good regarding the house, the car and everything. And this here was a costume I actually bought and thought it fits fantastic on the on the on the a Barney Woman doll, which is like a sweat top and jeans and stuff. And uh, originally this was a lot longer and I may do that version at some point. Like a, a part one even longer version because I have got loads of footage which I never used and I thought myself I could reuse it at some point to make it into a longer version. This was a little bit difficult to do as well. It, when we come up inside the house, had a few errors regarding things, you know, when the dolls fall on the floor and getting things right. And obviously listen to this when he sits down, it creaks, he creaks. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. And there we go here. Now, with the actual um, thing itself, it's a bit of a teaser here regarding the Six Million Dollar Man's coming into the show. And in part two, part two is so much better than this part one. I've put so much more into it and you'll actually, I think you'll enjoy it actually. It's got a lot more special effects as well. And this here coming up as well, I wish I'd actually, with the actual gift, I wish I'd wrapped it in paper 
Who gives a gift in a box not wrapped up? I mean, this this was a bit tacky of me not to actually wrap up the gift. <laughs> oh, I thought it was quite funny. And this is actually the Barbie um, cape from the doll. The Barbie doll. So there we go. So that's a bit of a rundown. A quick audio commentary today talking about part one. Part two is coming up very, very soon. And it'll be a lot longer than this. A lot more special effects. A few surprises. And that's coming up soon. So I hope you enjoyed this audio commentary today talking about this Wonder Woman versus Bionic Woman. Thanks for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe to the Barney Bit YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. To be continued all coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.